Welcome back, everybody. The recent death of Robin Williams is affecting a lot of people, including teenagers who are already struggling with issues and with how to express themselves, or they may have reached out only to be rebuffed or ridiculed after sharing their feelings online. Unchanneled grief compounded by the stress of a new school year could spell trouble. Casey Bree Jensen, a youth advocate and founder of Hope in the Hard Times, which helps teenagers with grief and other stressful issues, is here with ways we can help. Also, please note the toll-free number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at the bottom of your screen. Please do call if you or someone you know is hurting and you need to talk to somebody right away. Hi. Hi. Um, I read so much about you. I'm so impressed. Oh, you've been a youth you. minister. You've studied communications. And you started thinking about helping other young people mm -hmm. when something pretty devastating happened in your own life. Can you yes. share that with us? Yes. I was down in Disneyland, which is my favorite place and still is my favorite place. Happiest place on earth. <laughs> right. And I got the sudden news, and I was only 23, that my mom had passed away suddenly of a heart Sorry. attack. So I started my journey of grief, which I say I did it in all the wrong ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't talk what do you about mean by it. That? Okay. Yeah, I didn't talk about it. I didn't get it out. I pushed people away. I got really deep in myself. Maybe depression took over. So that's really why I started to reach out to young people to help them deal with situations today so it doesn't affect their tomorrow. So what is your campaign called again? It's Hope in the Hard Times. So which you know, is exactly what it yeah. sounds like it is. How did that get started and what, what's involved? Well, I started it after the only resource that really helped me grieve was to write everything out, mm -hmm. every emotion, every issue. And with my background dealing with youth and um, different public speaking, I kind of combined them and I've been facilitating other young people telling their story so that they can get their emotion out. In an online safe place. In an place. online safe place. So what do you find that kids write about talk about what's lacking how do we help them yeah you know it's kind of the opposite of that kids don't want to talk they don't want to get things out the only place we really see them talking is on Facebook and then they put something out there that's very vulnerable that maybe their mom or dad doesn't even know and now the fire starts happening through different comments well why are you feeling that way you shouldn't feel that way just get over it and all that so when you sit down and have a real conversation and you share your personal experience with someone, a young person says, oh, I am not alone in this. I can mm -hmm. actually relate to someone that's going through the same thing. And then they start sharing their experiences of either suicidal thoughts, which you wouldn't even think of, that that person would be going through it, or grief because of maybe their parents getting divorced, which we don't always think about and things like that. Well, you're right. Teenagers don't talk a right. lot, right? Don't right. always talk to adults. Right. And Things go so fast on Facebook or other right. social media and people pile on in some weird ways that you know are new to me seeing that happen so mm -hmm. quickly. Mm -hmm. So this is a place to kind of slow it down right. and talk it through, right? Yes. But if yes. somebody's in crisis, how do you handle that? If they're in crisis, we really encourage people to go to counseling to find resources. I'll find resources within their area and funnel it that way. I'm not I'm not meant to be a counselor or the, mm -hmm. the online community isn't meant to be a counseling resource. It's a resource to get it out. And all the comments are funneled. So we don't let anyone like a Facebook or an Instagram say whatever they want that's negative. So we don't want any cyber bullying. We want to make sure that it's someone else saying, hey, I know what you're going through. I've been through it and this is what helped me. So we definitely give people resources if they are going through something significant. So like you that. moderate pretty right, carefully. Right. And in terms of what kids are seeing these days, whether it's the suicide of Robin Williams yes. or the amazing variety of, of really gruesome or awful or just, you know, grotesquely vulgar videos and mm -hmm. comments that are mm -hmm. available everywhere. As a parent, I'm always like two steps behind my kid right. in discovering right. what's new. Right. What should we know? What should we be doing? We should definitely, I'm also a parent. I have a 14-year-old stepson and I, like you, I'm always shocked at what, I think I'm on top of it, and then, oh, right. this came out or that came out. And I think we just need to be overly involved in their social media. You don't have to be the parent that's like, don't do that, don't do that. Maybe just join your Facebooks together or be a friend on Facebook so mm -hmm. that you can make sure you see the comments that are happening. Um, you know, p parents say, I don't want to get into their privacy. I want to respect their privacy. And I totally get that. And 
I respect the parent for wanting to honor their child, but this is a significant world that we as parents right. don't really know and it's hard to navigate, but get into their business, make sure you have <laughs> passwords to all of their accounts, make sure security is up on all of their accounts mm -hmm. so that not anyone and everyone can see what they're doing. Is it okay to proactively say, look, I saw this crazy thing on the internet, I wonder if you've seen it or other oh, things yes. like that and just open that conversation? Yes, that's an amazing comment that you made because I think that's really important today is being open with your young person because they are probably seeing things that you would never think because I of the sure internet. Of it, yes. right. And just being upfront, not trying to be like, oh, they probably didn't see it. It's better to be proactive and on the offense and just have a conversation. And then they'll be more open to even share when they are going through a hard time with you because they know they can trust you and talk with you. There is so much going on in the world right yes. now. I think adults are overwhelmed. I mean, you look overseas, you look domestically, everywhere you, you yeah. look there are problems right now and for kids when you add the stress of going back to school do you see a mm -hmm. spike in people reaching out needing help absolutely it's it's a stressful time I mean everyone gets excited. are you excited to start high school are you started like yeah but it's it's scary to go out there and be a freshman in high school it's scary to start middle school and so mm -hmm. if they're already feeling extremely insecure or depressed the first day of school can heighten that or even homework pressures there's right. so much homework that kids have to do today so I think it's just being aware and reading your child knowing you know if they're like I'm fine you know maybe dig a little deeper a kid doesn't want to be pride at, but a kid loves to go out and, you know, for me, I love to take my, this is probably bad, but my teenager are to coffee, <laughs> you know, and we get coffee and he's like, I'm fine. And we just, I sit there and I'm like, I'm going to make you feel uncomfortable right now and just stare at you for a minute. And we're going to talk about anything and everything and all the YouTube videos that you're watching and, and what's this there. and what's that funny and, da, da, da. and what do you think about this happening? So good for you to be proactive. <laughs> it's also good to talk to them in the car. Yes. Boys are like wild animals. Yes. You can't look them directly in the face. <laughs> yes. So you can talk to them in the car. Just kidding. <laughs> but it, honestly, the car is kind of a cool place yeah. to talk. Yeah. You can find links to Casey's <laughs> website as well as other helpful resources for children, teenagers, and adults. And again, if you or someone you love is hurting, please call the National Suicide yes. Prevention Lifeline at the toll-free number that's on your screen. We'll have other resources on the website. And thank you for the work you're doing. Thank you. It's really good. And keep in touch with us. We need to know better how to handle these things with Will our do. kids. We'll be right back.